Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Let's get straight into your reading and see what we have for you. What do we have for our lovely Pisces? So we have Not the Right Time has come out. I'm going to get one more with that one. Choose a new direction. So it might not be the right time to do something new this week. I mean, remember these readings are for seven days and they won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. But we have not the right time and choose a new direction with that. Okay, let's see what we have. Message for Pisces. Yeah, we have the truth. It's interesting, that came out reversed. It just feels like lack of clarity here. You know, um, might be dealing with some truth or trying to get to get some clarity, see a truth, make a decision in truth. It might well be for some of you that you're being told it might not be the right time right now. You might not be seeing things clearly. Let's see what we have with this, Pisces. What do we have for Pisces, please, for the week? 8th to the 14th of November. Thank you. Overarching energy, the King of Wands. Gemini is somebody who takes action. It could be dealing with the King of Wands. The Moon, we have Pisces. It could be your energy because that is Piscean energy. Which is an energy of lack of clarity, uncertainty and doubt. I'm not clear how to take the lead. Eight of Coins, Challenge, Advice from Spirit, that's beautiful, the Star, Page of Cups, Six of Cups, the Death Card, And we have the Seven of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords. Pisces, there's an energy here of someone's dealing with a, I feel a difficult situation. However, you are in your element in the sense that this is an energy of do what you do best, surrender, go with the flow, wait for the clarity that you need, trust your intuition, trust that spirit's watching over you because this is the card of hidden blessings here. And it's to do with the king of wands, which I feel this is your energy, how you take the lead, take action, maybe act decisively in a situation in an empowered way. The King of Wands is somebody who will see something that they want, move in a direction that will bring them success and potential and growth. But for some of you, and I feel this may well be to do with the relationship, you're not sure which way you want to go right now. So the message is wait for the clarity here. You might be dealing with some truth. And because that was reversed, it might well be something's come to light here. Sometimes that moon energy can represent some kind of deception or something going on beneath the surface. We have the truth energy, so maybe some truth has been revealed and it is about dealing with that. Are you getting to the truth of how you want to move forward? The challenge position is we have the Six of Cups. So... This is somebody you have history with. I feel it's like a soul connection here. Uh, re probably relationship, I would say, with the Six of Cups and the Eight of Coins. Something that you've already put a lot of time and energy into now, but you're not sure if you want to keep on working at this, and that's the challenge. You just don't know. There's an energy of there's a decision to, to make, but somebody does not know which way to go. You know, this is 
an energy of you know Pisces you know interpreting these cards together it can be the death of a dream so something's happened that may have shattered shattered a dream in some way however that star card is still there to say there is still hope even though some there is deep change that you're going through right now uh, and it might all be for some of you you're still questioning whether you can shed an old squirt skin wipe the slate clean move forward with this person or if you want to move in a new direction there's this kind of energy here, here of, of you're in the transition period and the clarity will come because there's definitely blessings being sent to you by spirit there is absolutely hope there is a path that's opening up for you but it feels in this energy it just feels that somebody just doesn't have the clarity that they need right now to move forward and that's fine i think spirit is saying that that is fine there is certainly wish fulfillment and hope in this situation it might well be for some of you you're dealing with whether to end something or not and you just don't have the clarity that you need to make one decision or another so let's clarify clarify death Seven of Wands. Yeah, the Seven of Wands is an energy of defending. So there's certainly an energy of someone's not completely 100% sure whether they want to end something or not. You know, Pisces, the cards that I'm getting here, it can be an energy of do I want to fight for this? Do I want to keep, do I want to keep this alive you know it just feels in this energy somebody isn't ready to end something right now or in that position where they want to end something let's do the star the tower now the tower comes before the star in the major arcana which can represent truth it can represent revelation truth shattering you know the foundations of something the tower comes crumbling down so it can be that kind of life-changing energy. And, you know, we were feeling that with those two cards at the beginning. However, in this energy, you're being told there is new hope. The star comes after the tower, which is a sense of uh, the new light, the new direction, the new purpose for you uh, that you're being aligned to in the midst of dealing with some kind of tower energy. So it's not always an easy energy. But this star is a sense of hope, faith, renewal, reasons to be optimistic and hopeful. It just feels in this energy that it might well be you're not ready to make a decision because you're still maybe seeing hope in a situation and you're not quite ready to let things go now. Or it might well be for some of you, you're just not ready in this process, in this, at this point in time, to make the decision that's required of you. And the message is that's fine surrender and do it in your own time the page of cups it might well be you're getting some kind of supportive message here maybe some advice or guidance it could be somebody apologizing as well and we have that with the three of swords three of swords there's, there's levels to these cards but with the tower being here i mean this can be a painful truth um, third party situation can be the card of heartbreak, emotional pain. I mean, you know, it's not always an easy energy. It feels in this energy, Pisces, there's some kind of choice to make. But again, with the Seven of Cups, someone's not clear. There's a lack of clarity which way to go. There's uncertainty here, probably because emotions are involved. And someone's not sure whether they want to keep on putting their energy into this but they're not ready at that point to, to end something but they're not ready to make a decision about the future either and follow new dreams new hope you know it just feels in this energy pisces you're being told it's not the right time to choose a new direction right now for the next seven days and it is only for seven days just surrender take care of you 
So let's get let's get some advice. Any advice for Pisces, please? Any advice for Pisces for the week? Any advice for Pisces for the week? Wait. Wait until things become clear. Wait to see how something plays out. Just wait. Surrender, like the hanged man, and wait for the illumination to come your way. And that's what you're being told. And remember, the illumination with the hanged man, which is Piscean energy, it's Neptune, your ruler, is hanging from the tree of knowledge. So it is an energy of you will get the answer. You will see the way forward here. It's just, it might well be for some of you, things haven't quite played their course yet to get to you to the clarity of making the right decision or choice for you. So in this energy, this is an energy of surrender, wait, wait. And that's your advice this week. It's not an easy reading, Pisces, but you know, sometimes... It's, you know, it's not always for everybody and, you know, people need, some people need to hear this. Okay, final message for Pisces, final message for Pisces for the week. We have moderation, yeah. You're just being told, again, everything in moderation, be patient. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and healthily. Although the fairies say a little bit of what you fancy is fine. Moderation is very is a kind of very moderate, very slow, step-by-step, step, slowly approaching something, energy staying in your, in staying centred. And we have solitude. Think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait, wait silently during your quiet times. Certainly an energy of you'll get the answer that you need. It might well be with that solitude card to remove yourself from the source of what is confusing you right now to get some space. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope you found the reading useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.